the free FTL world of Whitson has sent us a little message. We've got a little bit more information about him, but we'll check that out in just a second. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming by. I am Athenon, and let's get back into Stellaris, the Machine Age, here on YouTube. We have noticed a marked change in the ways of the pre-FTL Xanierians on Whitson 1. Their society has turned outward, and they are now more accepting of strangers. Our observation flights all across their planet appear to have played some role in this, making the Xanierians eager to learn more about the unknown. So they get increased awareness, and their, shifts, their ethics are shifting to, towards Xenophile. So they're going to be more more willing to uh, to be uh, to uh, accept us, which is which is always a good thing, always a good thing. And I forgot about my fleet capacity going over. That's that's probably what is causing my yeah. It's probably probably what's causing my problems there. Do I have more ships being made right now for this fleet? I do. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna cancel these ships because I don't want to. I don't want to cause any more until I get more naval cap. I can't really afford to do that, so we'll just cancel those ships at the moment. We're already we're already suffering. We're going from real to virtual, boys and girls, and so when we're becoming we're 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 gonna stop being real boys here pretty soon. You notice our population of Kelzen. If I go to uh, if I go to resettle people. You'll notice that we can't, because these guys are these guys are all virtual. These guys are all virtual now. Everybody here is virtual. Uh, these guys can be resettled. Okay, the Zri can be resettled, but the Kelzen are all going all virtual now. I think what we'll do is we will purge our, um, what worlds do I need workers on? I need workers, workers, I think on Scorch chassis. Yeah, I need workers on Scorch chassis. So we're gonna, we're gonna send some workers there. Uh, let's go ahead and, and, uh, send workers to Scorch chassis here. Yeah, we're just going to send them all over there. Catalytic technician go there. Scorch Axis is now... Uh... Yeah, we're missing a few jobs here, but that's okay. There we go. We're missing a few jobs, but we'll be replacing them here soon. So we might as, we might as well do that. And then, uh, Fluid Signature has too many people on it as well. But they're getting, they're getting a couple industrial districts, so that should hopefully help a little bit with the consumer goods. We'll let that, we'll let them ride right now. These guys have, uh, Migrating Pops and Building Slot available. So, uh, they got a city district already coming up. Their population is 37. Let's give them a couple districts there, and let's also give them a. Do they have a stronghold yet? Let's give them a stronghold. Strongholds help because that gives me some more naval cap. The strongholds are never a bad thing to have. Okay, this tech world we can actually upgrade. Give it another district, and then we'll continue to build some research labs on it. Let's also build a uh, let's also build a generator district there. They only have 12 population right now, so that's. But we are getting they all they are all there. We we took away those. Let's see, Scorch Colonel. Currently unemployed, zero, but they have seven jobs available. Scorch Colonel needs some. Uh, Need some love. Scorch Chassis is doing great now because we we transferred all those pops over to him. Uh, Scorch Colonel, we need to transfer some pops to. So let's uh, let's go into the population and resettle a few pops to. Scorch Colonel, settle an artisan. 
a roboticist, and a clerk. And maybe one more clerk over there. And then these guys we can't resettle because they are virtual now. And we can now upgrade Scorch Colonel. Which is great. And um, it looks like some of these jobs will start getting taken care of now that we got more pops here. The Jammer DD, uh, the Jam, Jam Jabardini data cache, a small listening post da dating back to the ancient U Ute Jabardini conflict with a substantial data cache was hidden deep within the asteroid, built by Jabardini after the war to observe the U 10, in case any U returned to their home system. In the centuries that followed, the Jabardini repurposed the outpost into a testing site for some of their more novel experiments in faster than light travels. While the data is mostly theoretical, some may still be as of use. We get Elgate Insight, Physics Research, and Hyper Relays is going to get advanced as well. Yeah, technologies, we are... Oh, uh, we're actually starting to get... We're starting to get some more tech stuff going on, which is good. That's good, I guess. Okay, our fleet's pretty much in place at this point. We got that fleet there. This fleet here. Let's go ahead and upgrade our defenses here. Let's upgrade our defenses here. Oh boy, I tell you, man, being at war is never fun. It looks it looks like our looks like our friends down here are smacking it to the uh, the click cooperative. So that's good. We aren't going to get involved. We're just going to stay quiet and just let them do I'm their thing. Enemy vessels. Whoa! What the heck? Who? Where? Why are Why are you doing this? No! 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 Why? Why did you go into that system? Oh, that system should be off limits. Oh man. That's the Federation fleet too. Vessels upgraded. Vessels upgraded. Yeah. That was not good. That was not good. That should, that I did I never closed this uh, system off. That system should not have been one they could pass through. They were trying to pass through it to get up to here as an auto pass through. That was very 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 bad. Well, that's going to take a while for them to recover from that. I guess I'll send the Nanite Trans... Uh, I'll send this ship up here. It will not go through that system now. <laughs> that's why bad systems, you close them. You go down here and you click, no, they cannot go into that system. You see how quick that guy just annihilated us? Archaeologist and site event pending and Astro Rift event pending. Yeah. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, they, uh, the Dimensional Horror basically tore through everything we had. Yeah. Someday I'll learn to read all that stuff, but right now I don't know how. So we're just gonna go, we're just gonna move along. Hidden worlds. We have traced the writing to a temple complex devoted to the worship of the Oracle and her clergy in the station's central node. But the Oracle's chambers, instead of the divine entity, resides an enormous AI nexus of the Oracle brand. Wires extend from the core, like a nervous system, through the entire station. Secret communications between the inhabitants reveal there was a failed attempt at storming the temple and de deactivating the nexus. It seems likely the society collapsed when it became known that their lives were not governed by divine will, but by a prophetic computer. Restarting the Nexus will require extensive repairs. Curious. And we also have a Astro Rift event pending. So no sooner were we taken to our places than a troop of vulpine mammalians in sparkling costumes appeared on stage. After a short display of advanced gymnastics, a small wormhole appeared at the center of the stage. One daring acrobat drove inside just before the hole winked out of existence. Another wormhole appeared high above the crowd, ejecting the, per the performer, who deftly tumbled to the ground. The other performers followed suit, weaving and catching one another in complex patterns through an ever-shifting series of wormholes. 
The crowd gasped as one of the acrobats slipped into a portal, severing a limb from their body as the wormhole closed. Just as they were about to hit the ground, the wounded performer disappeared through yet another wormhole. The severed arm dropped from the rafters, grabbing a trapeze as it fell and flinging itself into the air. The one-armed acrobat reappeared, leapt high, reattached the prosthetic in midair, and landed on a pyramid of the other performers in a grand finale. The crowd was very pleased. A flippant use of impressive technology, but we get 40 Astral Threads for it too. So we're basically being entertained, and looks like energy is actually back in the positive. Our energy is back in the positive, boys and girls, probably because we don't have as much fleet. Yeah, it's probably because it's probably because the uh, Stellar Concord got a little annihilated. Okay, we finally got basic combat rules. New research. Transit hubs and hyperdrive twos sound good. Hyper oh hyper relays. Oh yes. Uh yeah, let's get hyper relays unlocked. That's probably gonna be a very important to us. Naval cap in 24 months, months, railgun in 20 uh in or in 42 months, railgun in 24 months. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's because our next Dyson Swarm came online. No, that's because we don't... Yeah, we need to get a Dyson Swarm online. Let's let's upgrade the Dyson Swarm. Actually, let's see. Which star is this at? That's at that star there. Uh, let's go ahead and do that star there. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we already did that, so that's fine. It's Arc Furnace. We could do that as well. That's going to take energy, but that's okay. Okay. This arc furnace is right here in uh, in the Landine system, which is really good because we're getting all the minerals from that now. We have a low stockpile of consumer goods. Let's go ahead and make sure we don't get out of consumer goods. Uh, let's go ahead and sell a little bit of our dark matter. How are we doing on the trades there? Okay, we're doing fine. Let's sell a few of those. Let's sell 5,000 food, and then let's buy 5,000. Yeah, let's buy 5,000 there. Okay, we're doing good on energy again, which is great. We're doing, we're finally doing good on energy, which is nice to see. Uh, no choice but to accept. Why? Hey, 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 Gungden Hive, why do you keep pissing off the, the, uh, the, uh, protectors here? Why do you keep doing that? Okay, we got a we got a favor with Z with the Zerian conglomerate. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and Ooh, who are these guys? Let's improve relations with them. They look like a breakaway from the Zerian hive. Let's improve relations with them. There's a machine race up here I'd love to improve relations with. No, that's not that's not them. Yeah, let's improve relations with these guys. We're just going to start improving some relations with people around here. And uh, these guys here... Let's improve relations with them as well. I like I like getting the I like getting the favors from the Zerin conglomerate, but I don't really need it anymore. Uh, yeah, the the embassy was recalled. I I figured that would probably happen. Oh, I can't call an end to the war because the Zerians have to do it. Well, the Zerians are trying to expand, boys and girls. They're trying to get some more territory here in the Gungdan, in the uh, in the uh, Click Cooperative area, which can't say I blame them. Can't say I blame them at all. I'd be doing the same thing if I were them. An industrial revolution. The pre-FTL on Yon 2 has entered a new era of history, having developed its fully industrialized society. The dramatic effects on this of this revolution can be seen across the planet. Factories have sprung up everywhere. New machines have resulted in increased production. Population growth and scientific innovations are appearing with increased regularity. Continue surveillance efforts. All right, Frozen Colonel has too many pops on it. 
Let's send that. Let's see if we can send anybody from here to Scorch Colonel. The Scorch Colonel, I know, has more jobs that they, they, they have more people they need down there. Um, let's just send that unemployed person there. And let's send that, yeah, let's just send the unemployed person there. That's fine. You could do that resettlement and it, it works really nicely. Um, now, see, like, these guys here, I can't resettle any of them because everybody here is virtual. Everybody here is virtual, so that, that makes it a little hard to resettle. But at least all of our energies and stuff, the only thing we're, we're, we're sucking on right now is consumer goods. And we can just keep buying those. The borders are open with the Leverian Hive. Excellent. Or my No, my borders were never closed with them. Okay. Receiving communications. Um, sure, I'd love to have an embassy with you. That gets me extra unity every month. Our unity is going back up too. And our influences. Did our, did our humiliated, it expires in 10 years. I'm not sure when that 10 years is going to happen. But it expires in 10 years. Relic activation cooldown. We're building relations. We have an astral boost. Let's look at our government real quick. Yeah, we're doing optimized resource from virtual pops plus 5%. So we're doing optimized network right now. The resolution has now been passed. The Senate has voted and passed uh, the resolution regulatory facilitation. Do I have any uh, thing that I have put up for... Yes, Kelzen Nation, the Administrative Insight. Uh, Ready Shield, yes, I like that. Chart of Workers' Rights, I like that. Don't like that, don't like that. Buzzword Standardization, yes, I will upvote that. I will support that. Exploitation Act, Regulated Growth. Let's see if there's any other. Comfort the Fallen. Unemployed workers have unhappiness penalty reduced by 10%. Um, now I'll just abstain on that one. Pest control. Any empire with Tanaki inside borders and breach of galactic law. I don't really care. Okay. So is ours up almost? The Gungden Hives is up. Let's oppose that one. And oppose that one. And then ours is up next. Administrative Insight. Since I oppose those, they're 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 losing a little bit of their. The mini are an entity. I like those guys. I like these guys. Um, we're cordial with them. Where are these guys at? Those guys are. Oh, those guys are all the way up there. Are they part of a federation? No, they're at war right now. How's our federation doing? Okay, federation is growing again. That is good. We got we got. The Gungden Hive is actually pretty strong. They're stronger than the Zirian conglomerate right now. The Gungden Hive, I like them as a uh, as a uh, vassal. Let's see, Every, and they're both both of those are extremely loyal to me. The Gungden Hive's extremely loyal. These guys are extremely loyal. So I could probably get some uh, consumer goods from these guys next time. I put up the uh, the aid agency with them just to keep them going. Uh, borders have been open with the Alarian Nation. Excellent. I, I can't establish an embassy with them yet, but that's okay. That's all right. Resolution was passed. That's the regulatory facilitation. Master Rift pending. A large reptilian cyborg lumbered onto center stage. It carried a huge metal weight, which it deftly tossed into its gargantuan jaw with hydraulic hiss. It spat the weights into the air, one after another, catching them as they fell and launching them once again in an effortless juggle. The announcement blared, causing some of the audience to jump. A many tentacled robot, a bipedal entity, and a living tangle of thick vines were brought to the stage. These creatures then willingly jumped into the reptilian cyborg's mouth, allowing themselves to be deftly juggled in the same manner. The mechanical beast then held the three volunteers in its mouth and squatted, compressing itself against the floor. Its huge frame glowed a molten orange. Once the process was complete, the performer opened its mouth and only a single creature walked out. 
It had the bulbous head of the tentacle robot, the torso of the toxoid, and thick limbs made of intertwined vines. It gestured to the crowd, evoking a stunned silence. The cy cyborg then reignited the biological amalgamum amalgam and spat out the three individuals once again, good as new. The crowd's nervous silence erupted into cheers. An interesting talent. Very interesting talent. How are we doing on threads? Relics, we got activation coming. Uh, we got 700, so we could get a secret of the Yut. And with a few more artifacts, we could get the secrets of the Yut uh, unlocked, which would be really, really super nice to get. We do have some more pops that we can resettle here. Uh, let's see, who needs who needs population? Four. I got seven un unfilled jobs here on, on uh, Cryomatrix. Let's go ahead and send the excess population there. Um... Uh, cryo matrix. Why can't I send them here? Because they have unemployment. Oh, okay. Oh, because they have too many people. Cryo matrix. Where are you? There we go. Cryo matrix. Uh, let's go ahead and send the unemployed. Let's send the catalytic technician there. And uh, there we go. We'll send two catalytic technicians there. Ten months till we have rail guns. Right now, it does not look like. All right, we have no choice. Oh, those are those are. Uh, that's a pirate fleet there, but it looks like they're getting taken care of. Hold up! Wait a second. Missing war goal. We have not. We do not have a war goal with what? 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 How did we go to war? Really? I respond. Oh my god. Are you freaking kidding me, Jogwallen? Oh my god, Gungton Hyde. Will you stop? Will you stop pissing off the. Uh, they're gonna give us another humiliation again. Oh my god. They're going to they're going to kill our, they're going to kill our leader again. They're going to kill our leader again. I mean they have they have way more stuff than us. The worst possible outcome. So they've assassinated our they assassinated her guy again. Oh my god. So we now have a new we now have a new uh a new person in charge. We now have a new heir. <laughs> we keep losing we keep losing our guys. Okay, so council agenda speed and uh, additional leader trait options plus one. Okay, that's kinda nice. Um we have an idle leader, that's actuator, our uh, deputy overlord. Wow. Wow, and he is a scientist as well. So where 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 is my empty scientist ship? I'm sure I have one. I have several. Uh let's go ahead and put him on there. Good lord. Let's have him move there to excavate that site. I don't know why he stopped excavating that site. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Do I still have the idle leader? Uh, oh, he is actually a commander. Interesting. He's actually a commander. Um... I'm gonna have them upgrade, have them upgrade, them upgrade, and them upgrade. What does that? What does this guy? Uh, what does this guy bring to the table? He has uh, nothing. 
nothing really. He's not he's not really good at anything. Actuator is kind of kind of crappy overall. Um, let's see, who do we have? Our transport fleet is being led by this guy. You know what? I'm just gonna swap him out for the deputy overlord. And then I'm probably just gonna go ahead and dismiss him because I have way too many commanders right now. Yeah, we're just gonna dismiss him. Wow. Well, that was the worst possible outcome. At least, I don't think we got humiliated again. The rightfully belongs to the regime of Etric. They've laying claim to the Denasi system. Really? Where is that at? Let's check where that's at. Oh, they've laid claim to that system? Why would they lay claim to that system? That system's a, a, way, a little ways away. Okay. We did get a favor with the uh, Ber Berenin Confederation. Astral action is available. So we can do the physics insight again. Let's do that. Let's get that physics insight in there. Nodal consciousness discovered. Oh, here we go. Unemployment on main facility. Increased benefits. Main facility's having issues, huh? Wow, there's a lot of unemployment on main facility. Holy crap. Lots of unemployment on main facility. Uh, we don't need the slave processing facility because I don't believe there's any... Yeah, there are no non... Uh, yeah, we don't need slave processing there anymore. Let's uh, replace that with another research lab. There we go. All right. Nodal consciousness discovered. Uh, Ocularian explorers in Oslippy 3 have discovered a previously unknown species of molluscoid. On its own, each of these creatures barely quali qualifies as sapien. However, when two or more are joined through physical contact, they form a semi-conscious node. Theoretically, these nodes should be capable of experimental growth and cognitive power. Simply put, the people of a slipping three have stumbled onto a biological thinking machine. Giving time, this discovery could herald the event of organic singularity. We can watch it learn, we can prevent it, or we can up we can promote it. Um, you know what? We're we're just gonna take the easy way. Because otherwise it's going to cost us 25 unity and 25 science or 50 unity and 50 science. And I don't want to expend that right now. So we're just going to, we're just going to watch and learn. I know that's kind of the boring way to go, but we're just going to watch it and learn, and learn about it. We aren't really going to do anything about it. we got three Elgate insights. Oh, that's, that's way out there. Um, hidden worlds we're already looking at. Kleptomaniac rats we're not looking at. Let's look at our science ships here. So these two science ships are basically just dead right now. I'm just going to get rid of them. We don't need them. Uh, where's this construction ship at? Hello? You're over here. I'm going to need you at some point, so I'm going to put you uh, here. Gonna move you there for right now. You have no orders. I'm just gonna move you back to main facility. And you have no orders. I'm just gonna move you back to main facility as well. Uh, actually, no, I'm just gonna... No, cancel that order. You're just gonna sit there. I'll just move you to Kosk. There we go. Alrighty, um... We know of a good raiding target. The Click Cooperative. We'll pay, teach him a lesson. I'm gonna hire them. Because why not? We're gonna, we're gonna send them over to the Click Cooperative and just have them, Vessels like, fight upgraded. them over there. Attacking enemy vessels. 
Whoa, 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 where, where are we at? That's that damn pirate fleet there. You know what? We need to go take care of that pirate fleet, I think. There's a pirate fleet here that they are not taking care of. Yeah, and it just keeps destroying our ships. Keeps destroying ships that are coming to us. Which is not good. Uh, where is the uh, Stellar Concord fleet? I'm going to have them go there. I'm going to have them go there and attack these guys. They'll pick up a few ships along the way. Vessels upgraded. Construction complete. Attacking enemy vessels. Still doing the same thing over there? Yeah, we're losing ships over there. All right, we got some uh, technology that has been unlocked. The rail guns are now unlocked, which is great. Uh, let's go ahead and unlock the cruisers. That's going to be 565 months. Wow, we are we are really hurting on uh, on our research right now. Our research is taking forever because of our empire size. That's going to be a long time. Astral Rift event pending. The final act involved a creature made of thick gray stone bending into particular positions. It contorted its blocky limbs into impossible knots. It then jumped high in the air and landed on its wide fingertips, a polite mum mummers from the crowd. However, this was only a setup for the true performance. The creature's movements began to slowly decelerate to the point at which time itself began to reverse. Its figure traced back along the arc of its previous jump and froze in midair. This brought the crowd to life. Suddenly, the stasis was, was broken. The creature returned to the ground and began to transform. Its body changed from featureless gray stone to sparkling red crystal, free-flowing sand, brittle blue shale, and more. It continued to perform, as ever, more complicated series of contortions. At the height of its performance, it burst into thousands of pris prismatic shards. These froze midair in an intricate arrangement, refracting the stage's simple spotlight into a complex display of incredible colors and patterns. The shards slowly rewound until the performer was returned whole, and the creature left the stage in an unmatched roar from the crowd. A rare specimen. We get some crystals for that. Nice. All right, so we got all the construction completed there. Let's see how our mega structures are doing here. This Dyson Swarm, we need more unity for it. But we have this one upgrading in 392 days. That one upgrading there as well. They're still hurting on consumer goods, but the good news is we have a ton of other resources coming in which allows us to just keep buying consumer goods and making up for it so it's not that big of a deal uh we're gonna leave it off here boys and girls next time when we come back we are going to be facing off against the ghost flotilla here and trying to take that out we'll be seeing how the war is going over here it looks like the war is going okay um the Zerian conglomerate or the click cooperative is is seemingly seemingly defeating them though in some ways space battles are kind of winning we need to probably go over there and give them a hand maybe take one of our fleets over there and just smack them down hard um that would probably probably be best but we'll have to see you know how we how we do that uh let's go ahead and move that fleet up over there i don't know why they are back there oh they they went back there to upgrade that's what they're doing because that's the uh, that's the nanite indictor, so that's perfectly fine there. All right, so we are going to be going and uh, doing that next time. But boys and girls, thank you so much for joining me today. If you did enjoy this one, don't forget to hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, and I will see you next time for more Dyson Sphere program. Not Dyson Sphere program. That's going to be coming up on another one for more Stellaris in our Machine Age series here on YouTube. I've got a lot of series going. Check out Dyson Sphere, by the way, boys and girls. It's a lot of fun. We'll see you next time.